So, I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. It's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is, like, unreasonable. I'm a young, 18-year-old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Like, I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. But there's literally guys out there with 13-inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least 100 different people. Just to see who I like the most. <sighs> yeah, y'all didn't hear a, a fucking ear fool. I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Yahushakurash. Double honor to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the for elect tabernacle of David. Scattered abroad throughout the earth. And it's, it's spiritual that the screen, you know, right after the video ends, it just goes straight black. Because that's exactly the state that these people in this world are in. They're in gross darkness. This is a so-called Latina woman. You know, she's of the northern kingdom. And you're here talking like this. You know, we get on the so-called black woman the most because she's the head. But uh, the, the Latin women, the, the women of the other tribes, they're not too far behind the so-called black woman, man. You know, that was that was horrible to, to hear. And this girl was only 18 years old, man. You know, talking like that. So I let you know how far gone in society, you know, we are, you know, straight up uh, moral decay, the pure degeneracy. And even the scriptures say that about our people. You uh, go to Jeremiah 2 and 21, and it says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? And that's the uh, the the whole nation. You know, they they become completely degenerate. You know, look at your men. You know, the the the, the men of influence, the the you know, the celebrities. They're constantly going through humiliation rituals. You know, dressing up like women. Emascul you know, emasculating themselves just for the master's crumbs. And then look at your women, masculine, shameless, you know, whores. So our people, they didn't uh, deteriorated morally. You know, they, they don't have any moral morale anymore. You know, no moral compass, nothing to stand on. It's completely degenerate and, you know, They've had a lot of time to seep into the the the, the philosophy, the, the Babylonian wine, you know. They just completely marinated in it. And now they're just completely destroyed. And our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. That's and that's what you call gross darkness. All right. Uh, Isaiah 60. And one, it says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. And that's what you're seeing. And our, our people are completely oblivious to the righteous ways, you know, of the Heavenly Father. You know, the, the statutes and judgments, you know, the way we're to conduct ourselves as, as, a, as a special people unto him. You know, that's totally far gone. You know, they don't even know who they are. Because if they did, you know, they'd uh, be ashamed. You know, so gross darkness is definitely on our people, man. Okay? Ain't no way a, a, a young woman is to be even talking like that. But they learn that from, you know, the West. You know, liberalism. You know, my body, my choice. You know, doing as thou uh, will. Uh, YOLO, you know, those type of philosophies that poisons the mind of the average individual, especially the young generation coming up. And they're the most bugged out, as you can see. 
But I wouldn't be surprised if that that young Latina, you know, should be looking at some of how these black women be rolling. And she like, man, I I, I want to live that life too. You know, or or these uh these these uh Edomite women, because they're big whores too. You know. There's just there's no shame. And and you know, that's how you know society is falling uh fast, you know, rapidly when 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 moral decay it it is it sets in. You know. She talking about she wanna be passed around. And don't want to be monogamous to a man. Well, it's not that you're going against your nature. You know, a woman is not meant to be passed around. Okay, you, you the moment you uh, uh, are married to a man, you're you're set with that man as long as he lives. All right, but she wouldn't know that because our people are not trained in the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father. They they as far removed from from this world. They're going completely. Satan. All right. That, that's the God of this world. And the God of this world says you can do what you want. He gives you the license to sin. All right. You know, in the ancient world, not even the ancient world, you go to other places and you say you want to live like that. You know, they'll, they'll make an example out of you real fast. You know, because, uh, you know, women are not supposed to have that type of liberty. And that's scripture. And in this day and age, these women, they just going all out with it, man. Some women saying, I broke up with my boyfriend, so I wouldn't slept with 200 men in one night or, you know, 20 men in, 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 in this amount of hours. They just, they don't, these, hey, <laughs> we're in that time right now, man. It's, it's pretty scary, but that's how you know the Lord. He's allowing it because he's preserving all these people, man. All this wickedness got to pile up, you know, until the Lord finally thrust in that, that sickle. All right, but uh, let me get the uh, script. This is uh, Sirach 25. And verse, um, I'll start at 24. It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. And it was all because of the woman's curiosity, just like the the Latina chick. You know, she it, she's she has a a, a so called boyfriend, which really technically that's her husband, but she goes on social media and complains that she wants to be passed around. She wants experience. Basically, she wanna be a whore. She wanna go against her her nature. Well, Eve had the same curiosity and and, and what happened? She opened up Pandora's box. She ate the, the the tree that the Lord said not to eat from, and she did it anyway because it was ple it was uh, pleasant to her eyes. She was very curious, man. She saw the the the, the physical, uh, fleshly, tangible uh, benefits from sin. All right, and she do she, she seduced uh, Adam, and he got into it. And next thing you know, the Lord brought death. He introduced death to the to the world. Are mainly to the uh, the sons of God, who later became the children of Israel, and we're still walking in that cycle to this day. All right, sin is the reason why we no longer have immortality. But through Yahushai, you know, we're now, you know, now that we're uh, being reconciled back to the Father, and now we know who we are, we're being adopted back as uh, the sons of the power. Now we understand it. All right, and we've uh, repented, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, receive immortality. Okay, Yahushua is going to come back, and uh, we're going to be changed. You know, that's what we're waiting upon. But right now, death reigns in the world because of sin, and thanks to the to uh, to Eve. You know, this is why you should never listen to the serpent, because the serpent he plagued you with these ideas, these philosophies. They got all these women messed up, you know, uh, feminism. That was a, a philosophy of uh, the devil. He put that in your head. He, he, he corrupted your mind with that. And now you're now <laughs> after um, enjoying the last 50 or so years of, you know, feeling like you're equal. 
and having the option to, you know, choose men and deal with multiple partners and be whores freely without uh, shame, without consequence. Now, all of a sudden, you're trying to revert back to your nature because this shit's starting to bite you in the ass. You know what I mean? But it's the, you, you were never supposed to uh, do that. Okay. Um, damn. Well, I forgot to <laughs> already I was forgetting where I was being ready to go. Oh no, yeah, I know where I'm going now. Let's go to uh Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. Cause all these women listen to that damn serpent. It's the damn so-called white man, man. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and verse uh, 23 it says, For the most high powers created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity nevertheless through the envy of the devil came death into the world and they that do hold of his side do find it and that's why all these people they're all finding death all right this is why judgment is executed every single day because they're taking hold of uh the side of the devil you know living after the manner of 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 the enemy instead of after the manner of righteousness so this is what they get in return. You get death, judgment. You get a uh, calamity. You know, like right now, um, California going through it hard. You know, the the winter storms and then then washed <laughs> California up. You know, San Diego consecutively underwater. See. Then down there in Chile. You had some fires that killed off over a hundred people, and uh, which, you know, we we more we know more than likely that it was uh the do technology that was used on Chile for whatever reason. All right, but uh, that place got blazed up. You know, and then there's a, a, a allegedly another uh, uh, polar vortex that's supposed to uh, hit, you know, throughout the country. And uh, we know what happens when 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 that occurs. You know, damage, people freezing to death, your pipes bursting, your, your your crops blasting. That's the Lord bringing all this calamity down because you people ain't right. Scriptures say in Second Ezra eight and fifty that the Lord's gonna uh, bring many many miseries upon you. Now, in, in his latter days, that walk upon the earth because you have walked in great pride. You know? But, you know, we're not supposed to uh, be that way, especially you women. Women are supposed to be uh, shamefaced. All right? The wife of one husband. You ain't supposed to be whores, and your mothers are supposed to be teaching you not to be whores. Was that in Titus? And usually, you know, on the northern kingdom, they usually have their fathers. They usually are more uh, connected and family oriented than Judah is. But even that had um, eradicated, you know, being here in Babylon, man. She'd be more traditional if she stood, if she stayed down in Mexico or, or wherever she's from, Central America. She one of the uh, northern tribes, you know. But uh, that American uh, wine, that Babylonian wine. Destroyed her. Uh, Titus 2. And verse. Uh, in Titus 2 and uh, verse 3. It says the aged woman likewise. That they be in behavior. As becometh holiness. Not false accusers. Not given too much wine. Teachers of good things. That they may teach the young women. To be sober. To love their husbands. And if you're talking about, you know, why well, I got to be monogamous and I won't, I won't experience other men, you definitely don't love your husband. You know, he's your head. Why would you do that? But that's showing their, their, their whoredom. And that's no different than Israel choosing many gods, you know, under uh, their true God, which is which the, the, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. That's the only God we should be worshiping and serving. But Jake's, they worship every God under the, under the heavens, under the sun. 
So they show it with their actions that they don't love their uh, their higher power, man. They don't love the most high. It says to love their children, to be discreet, chase, keepers at home, not in them streets. You know, she got the desire to want to be in them streets, you know, passed around and shit, man. And that's that the average young girl in, in Babylon in the West, she's in them streets. Going from relationship to relationship, you know, uh, she's more than likely only living with her mom. Her dad is not in the, in the household, so she don't have a curfew. So she's out and about. She's going out to parties, functions, probably even sneaking into clubs, you know, knowing that she's not of age and getting smutted out, man. Drinking, you know, can't handle her liquor. Shouldn't even be drinking at all, but she's, you know... I mean, if you drink in moderation, ain't nothing wrong with it. But a lot of these women, they don't have control when when it comes to that, and they get super drunk. Every uh, function that I've been to when I was in the world, it was always the women that was uh just drunk out of their mind, over just over the top, excessive. You know, so they do them. They they're the main ones doing the surfeiting. And you know when they come up out of the uh, the function, they can't even walk. You gotta somebody gotta you know hold them or, or pick them up. You gotta make sure that they uh, you know get placed in 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 the, in the back seat. Terrible man. It says good obedient to their own husbands that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. You know, and these, these women, they don't keep themselves uh, pure. You know, by the time they hit the age of 18, they already didn't been ran through. See? So that's why this society is on its way out, man. This world needs complete change. It's, it's, it's too out of order, man. All right, now going back to uh, Sirach 25. In uh, verse 25, it says, Give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. All right. And, you know, because if you give them, you know, any inch, they're going to go a mile. You know. You let them slide on something, they're going to continue to try to get away with. It. So you got to, you know, just like a, you would keep a, 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 a strict tension to your to your daughter. You got to do the same even with your woman. Okay. Um, let me go to uh, the next chapter. Yeah, Sarai 26 in verse uh, 8, and it says, A drunken woman, in which, you know, they're even spiritually drunk, and they, 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 they drunk, but not with strong drink. You know, it's that, that, that wine of, of, of Babylon, that philosophy, man. Liberalism, feminism, women's lib. Right? And they gather abroad cause of great anger, and she will not cover her own shame. You know, and you see that. These women coming out of these parties and functions, and they drunk, and they just, you know, all in your face. You know, some of them will come up on you and start twerking on you. They just, they ain't got no shame, man. I, I'm talking about the ratchet ass uh, end up. That's how they be when they, you know, hear music playing and they've been drinking. They turn straight into whores, man. Or they, or they want to just get in the fights. Just a, just a mess. It says the whoredom of a woman may be known in her hottie looks and high lids, eyelids, and you know this, this chick. She definitely, you, you definitely see that. You know, anytime you see these women with them elongated uh, eyelashes, you know them the uh, cum brothers, them windshield wipers, flee. Cause she's only for recreational use. That's not a, a a wife, and a young dude. He doesn't he doesn't understand yet. Whoever her boyfriend is, he doesn't he he's still wet behind the ears. All right, this, this is uh she's gonna, you know, break his heart eventually. He's gonna he's gonna experience some pain. He got to learn the hard way. You know all this uh, make cake up and, uh you know, eyelash uh, fake eyelashes. And then she got the septum ring. Come on, man. Those are all the signs you need. You know? 
she's crying out. She does not want to be tied down to one man. She wants to hop on that 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 CC. She wants to play the field. And they learn that as a that, you know as young women in this society, man. Whether it's you know from their own mothers or they see other women with that liberty. So, be careful, man. All right, this this spirit is is engulfed here and all over uh, Babylon in the states. Okay, and I'm pretty sure it's you know over in Europe as well. Wherever the devil is in control, wherever he rules, this is what he allows. Okay, um, verse um. 10, it says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And why and, and, and why should you? Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open her mouth. This is why you keep her in straightly. Because, and she just said it, she wants to be, she want to be objectified, all right? She wants to be an object, a sexual object. A lot of women have uh, the nerve to uh, uh, complain that they're being objectified, but they do it to themselves. They choose to do that because you can easily have morals and, and, and self-respect and dignity and cover your body up, dress uh, modestly, appropriately. Stop trying to attract that attention to yourself. Stop trying to find little reasons to get out of relationships so that you can jump into another one because you, you, you're just curious and you want to be, you know, passed around. It says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. All right. So that's hey, that's right there in, in, in the scripture that if you don't, uh, you know, keep a short watch over her, she will be the biggest whore if you give her the liberty to in which a lot of them, they are given that liberty because they don't have fathers at home. You know, if they do have a father, he's a pushover, he's a simp. You know, the, the mother doesn't respect him. So it's either or. So this is what we get right now, man. So, hey, the northern tribe women, they're not too far behind uh, the end up, man. We, you know, I, I don't I don't really give the northern kingdom a pass just because they're not the end up. You know, I, I get on all the tribes. The end up, she gets it the worst, of course, because she's the head. And she, yeah, she is <laughs> the worst right now. But they're not too far behind her, man, the, 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 the Latina woman. Okay? And that's why judgment is, is going out. You know, they're getting met by uh, spirits of vengeance, a lot of these women. You know, men getting that, that spirit of jealousy on them. The scriptures say jealousy is the rage of a man. You're seeing a lot of that happen, too. You think that that would uh, motivate women to get their act together out of fear. But they're going to continue to do what they want until, you know, tragedy strikes. So that's why this place uh, got to, uh, you know, be destroyed. Okay. She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And you, a lot of you, and this shows that you, these women are at ease. You know, Isaiah 32. Many days and years, women like this are going to be troubled. And you're not going to have one man to be able to protect you. You ain't going to have that. Now, if you would have stayed loyal and, and you know, up under uh, the security of your man, you'd probably be all right. But a lot of these women, that 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 feminism, that independent woman spirit is kicking their ass and good for them, man. Should have never allowed the serpent to beguile you. Now, look. But anyway, I'm going um, to wrap it up right there, man. I just had to uh, do a quick video on that. And uh, hopefully this was edifying. I'm going to give all praise to y'all. Bashim Yahushai. To the next lesson. Shalom.